Hi everyone. Um, today we're going to be doing some monoprinting. Monoprinting is a form of printmaking where you create a line, form or shape or image, any image you like, but it's only created once. Um, it's different to other forms of printmaking where you can reproduce a painting uh, or print to, um, multiple times. So for this exercise, um, we're going to be doing our monoprinting with an item you have at home. And that item is a tea bag, a simple tea bag. So you can use um, a square tea bag, ideally, or even a circular one, but I wouldn't recommend the triangle shaped tea bag. So for this one, for this activity, I have chosen a square tea bag and a circular tea bag. Um, so the next thing is to think of an artist, um, someone who you could take inspiration from. So I've chosen two artists for this exercise. Um, one is an artist called Rothko, um, and he did very large paintings using bold colours, um, sometimes also dark colours, where he would fill up the space with squares and lines of colour, similar to this image of his painting here. And here is another image. So they could be viewed at, um, at many sides. So um, yeah, so this is another one where he's used blue and orange and red to um, build up big spaces of colour on a painting. So I'm going to be using Rothko on my square tea bags. On my circular tea bags, I'm going to be using, uh, insp taking inspiration from another artist called Kandinsky. Um, and I'm going to be taking inspiration from this image here. So I've picked up on the fact that I'm using a round tea bag and I'm going to recreate some of these shapes here in this image of a painting by Kandinsky. Both Kandinsky and Rothko were big expressionists, pioneers in expressionism and abstract expressionism. So um, yeah, their paintings come from a form of art called abstract expressionism. So let's get started. So for this exercise, I would recommend you find yourself um, some paints. So I've chosen red, pink, yellow, and blue. Um, you have some paint brushes to choose from, some paper to hand, some water if you need to um, wipe away your paintbrush, the paint from your brush, and obviously your tea bag. So here I have my square tea bag. Um, it's damp. Um, but not too damp so I would recommend you press it in between some kitchen towel um, so it's still moist but not overflowing with water and here is my circular tea bag so let's have a go so I'm going to start by picking my square tea bag dabbing my brush with some water Picking a colour like this red here and painting directly onto the tea bag. So let's go. So I'm taking inspiration, remember, from the artist Rothko. So I'm going to do a stripe of red on the tea bag. And then I'm going to go to the yellow and paint some yellow in, as so. Quite a bit of yellow because he used big areas of colour. And then, maybe a bit more yellow. Right.
right at the very end, I'm going to add this stripe of blue. Our stripe of blue. So I'm going to next press this down onto our paper, get a bit of kitchen towel, put that on top of the tea bag, and something like a, uh, a diary or any book, and pop that on top and press down, press down quite firmly on top of the tea bag hold and then you can take everything away and let's see what's happened okay can you see that i'm pretty impressed with that and then you can repeat so you can either um wash the tea bag down again or have another one prepared. I do have another one prepared, but I'm gonna try something else. So I'm going to use the same colors again, just go over. So I've got the blue, adding a bit more red down here. And then with our yellow, just going on top again and I'm going to try and turn it horizontal this time so I'm going to do a horizontal one just here so get our kitchen towel put that there get our book and press down again quite firmly and hold for a few seconds Now I'll take everything off and there we go. Can you see that everyone? So let's have another go. Let's create with the other tea bag another Rothko inspired painting. So I'm going to use red again, but this time I'm going to use maybe red down here just red along there and then i'm going to use i think red again at the top And this time yellow in the middle. Let's do a stripe that Rothko is famously known for. Straight in the middle here. So again, place that where you want it on your paper. Get your kitchen towel and press down with your book and hold. Lift. Fantastic. Can you see that? And one last time, let's use the same tea bag. Pop it down horizontally, just there. Get our book and press down hard. Lift, take away. Hmm. What do you think? There you go. Not bad. Have a go guys, experiment, create different patterns as I've done there. So, Let's try it with our round tea bags and this time we're going to be doing our
Kandinsky inspired print, mono print. So again, let's get rid of that water and bring in some fresh water. And let's start with yellow in the middle. Red going around. I haven't used the pink, so I'm going to use pink next. So next we've got pink going all the way around. And lastly, a dark colour like the blue I've got. So here's our blue going all the way around the tea bag. Can you see that, everyone? So next, we place that on our paper. We get our kitchen towel. We get our book and we press down. Quite excited to see this one. Lift. Ah, can you see that? I'm quite pleased with that one. Can you see that everyone? So yeah, and look at our tea bags. They look like works of art in themselves. <laughs> so, have a go, send me pictures, and I hope you enjoy doing monoprinting with tea bags. Take care, everyone. Bye bye. Bye.